Hi guys and welcome back to another LucaVision video and I want to welcome each and every one of you straight back to my channel and straight back to another Eurovision 2023 reaction video. Now guys, I'm going to make this very short and very sweet because I'm currently watching semi-final one. Yes, Eurovision week is finally here and I've decided to give you this little filming debrief while they're about to play Rita Ora because I'm not really a massive fan of Rita Ora anyway. So I thought I'd give you my debrief now while she is on. Now, semi-final one is over and yes, in LucaVision style, I have made notes. I'm going to quickly give you my thoughts on each and every song that has participated and my final predictions to who I think is going to qualify. And guys, it needs to be said, my opinions have completely changed. Some of these songs have completely come to life and I found a new lease of love for some of them and others have really fallen in my predictions. It is crazy what a live performance can do. Now, before I run through it, I wanna know if watching this show has changed your opinion and some of these songs are now in your top or if some of them have fallen out of your predictions. Let me know all of your thoughts because it is really doing crazy things to my head. So let's do this. And before I give you my quick rundown, honorable mentions, Alicia Dixon is absolutely smart smashing this presenting malarkey. The rap she did about United in Music, iconic. The little mention she gave to lots of different people, I absolutely loved it. Alicia, come back next year, you're more than welcome. Also, the postcard idea, incredible. I love that they're using a 360 camera and they're going between the home country, UK and Ukraine. What an impeccable idea and a great way to really unite everyone around the world. Love it. But let's do this. Let's get into my little debrief, shall we? Let's debrief. Okay guys, so starting with Norway, I wrote down a great opener with amazing energy. Alessandra had so much confidence and it was compelling to watch. The confidence that she exuberated was impeccable. What a great opener. Next up, we have Malta and just wonderfully done. It was vibrant, fresh, colorful, and engaging. The sweater change was everything. I love the little surprises they've incorporated for us. Next up, we had Serbia. Now, I feel like there was an issue with the vocals and the mic setting here. I couldn't really hear Luke Black a lot at all. I love the way that the crowd sung Game Over Bitch. It was incredible. It was dramatic, eerie and haunting. However, I did feel a distinct lack of energy and atmosphere compared to the previous songs. There was something about it that just seemed to lack compared to Norway and Malta. Okay, next up, Latvia. Now, I've never really championed Latvia before, but after watching this performance, it has changed me. I'm converted to a Latvia stand. It was incredible. I loved it. It was a beautiful performance with a real quirky edge and the staging was perfect for what the song supplies and the whole mood and the vibe of the song. Okay, next up, Portugal. Such little staging, but Mimi Cat made up for it in a persona and performance and the crowd went wild for it. She really showed off who she was as an artist and she owned it, the catwalk everything. Okay, Ireland loved the pyros and the staging was nice for what it was. However, I did feel a lack of energy, enthusiasm and motivation on stage. Something about it, it just didn't hit for me and I don't think this is going to qualify. Probably one of my obvious non-qualifiers. It almost felt like they didn't really want to perform. There was a lack of quality and performance. But in comparison, that made this next country stand out, Croatia. Weird and wonderful. It was crazy Eurovision at its best and they gave it a hundred percent. The way that they took all their clothes off and they had these like their underwear on. I mean, it was strange, but I kind of wanted to see more. I've actually been messaging one of my good friends throughout this performance and she said that her young daughter said it was the weirdest thing she has ever seen in her life. Next up, we have Switzerland. Now this was absolutely stunning. I adored this performance and I am now championing Switzerland. Incredible performance. Effortless vocals, the interpretive dancing was everything. It, it just looked like you put no effort in and the vocal just came out like nothing. Like, how do you supply such a great vocal like that? That came from in here. That was amazing. Next up, Israel. Let me refer to my notes. Sass, talent and presence. She is the whole package and owned it. Each section was performed so well, it made the song very coherent. So for those people that hadn't heard this before, and it might have sounded like four songs stitched together, the way that it was performed on stage was very, very clever because each section of the song had a different kind of staging and it made the song coherent. Incredible, absolutely loved it. She is gonna absolutely smash this and I think she may be one of the main contenders to win after that performance. Next up, Moldova. This was everything that we are accustomed to, but just on another level. Brilliant, just really umped up another notch. Then we have Sweden. I didn't really say much, but I said just sublime and empowering, and it actually put a lump in my throat when watching it. There was something about it that just got me in the feels. Then we have Azerbaijan. This seemed out of sync to me. 
it was lovely vocals and nice staging, but it didn't grab me. There was something about it that just didn't really seem to hit with me personally. Not sure about you guys, but something didn't quite grab me. Then we have Czechia. This was very cleverly staged and very atmospheric. And actually there were parts of it that were quite hypnotic. I loved that they were all dressed in uniform and they had the same hair and everything. I thought it was very clever. Loved the way that they used the entire stage and for a lack of staging, they made up for in presence. Then we have The Netherlands and this is another song that has really changed my mind. After watching that live performance, I'm now a huge fan. It was a stunning performance. The live version is miles better than the studio version and this is slept on. Then I put in brackets, <laughs> yes, by me. <laughs> I have been sleeping on this song and I admit it, but that was stunning. And I think this has huge potential. Last but not least, we have Finland. <laughs> now I said about Finland, absolutely fantastic. With such a wide appeal, the way that the song does take lots of different twists and turns, I think it does have something in there for everybody. Absolutely loved it. Kadia has such enthusiasm, energy, and he brought the house down. It's party. So guys, with that being said, after watching the live performances, my predictions for this semi-final have changed ever so slightly. And here's a very quick rundown before they release the result. Okay, so my predictions for qualifiers are as follows. Norway, Malta, Latvia, Switzerland, Israel, Sweden, Netherlands, Finland, Moldova, and... Portugal. Now, I think the shock non-qualifier from this, for the fandom respect anyway, is going to be Czechia. And a shock for me to have to say it, I think Serbia aren't going to qualify either. And to me, that is the shock non-qualifier in my opinion. And that's just because watching this live show has really turned everything on its head for me. I just think it's too out of the box, too quirky and too out of place compared to these other songs. However, that is just my opinion and I cannot wait to see the results and I better go because they're about to be revealed. So catch you in a bit. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Let's do this. In no particular order. All of the countries <laughs> that perform this evening. I always get a flutter when it comes on. The and progressive. Going through to the final is... My heart is pounding. Why do I get like this? Croatia! <gasps> no! Oh my god! My original prediction, but I took them off! Oh, this competition, honestly. God, this is a tough one. Come on. If I'm feeling this nervous, how do they feel? Moldova! Yes, Moldova! I've got them on my list. One out of two. I think we are going to be very shocked. It's pounding. Come on. Yes! Well deserved. Brilliant performance. I loved it. Really taking a U-turn on them. Huge potential. I feel like I'm going to keel over. Yes! It's Pante! Oh, look at him! He's taking his arm warmers off. Well deserved. What an absolute tune. Yes! Oh, I'd love for Malta to get through. I really would. I honestly thought Czechia were going to be a shock non-qualifier. They were on my original qualifier list. Oh my god, who's not going to get in? My heart is in my mouth. <laughs> is this normal? I'm so pleased though, I just thought they were going to be a shock non-qualifier. Yes, Noah! That's what we like. She is a pop star. I'm so pleased, she put so much work into that. She's iconic. No Ireland. Do we expect Ireland? Purely public, so that is exciting. It just shows you what the public want, the public get. Going underground. Portugal! Yes, I had them down. The atmosphere when she was performing was electric. I could sense it through the TV. The crowd lapped it up. Three places, surely Sweden and Norway have got two of those places. Then who else? <laughs> come on, Queen Lorraine, come on. Yes! Queen Lorraine, come on! Some people can say that it's a given that Sweden are going to get through, but not everything is a given. This is Eurovision, it's unpredictable. Okay, breathe. Why do they keep mentioning Ireland as if it's an obvious choice? Sorry, but I don't think... I think it's the obvious non-qualifier. Serbia! I am so pleased for Luke Black because this is one of my favourite songs. And it was on my original predictions list. But after that performance, I didn't think it would. So well done. It's got to be Norway. It's got to be Norway. Why do I change my mind? If you go back to my original predictions list, 
I think I said most of these. I think I said all of these. <laughs> yes, no way. Yes. Seven out of ten ain't bad, is it, folks? We have Croatia, Moldova, Switzerland, Finland, Czechia, Israel, Portugal, Sweden, Serbia, and Norway. What strong contenders for the final. And I'm particularly upset for Malta because I feel like they did deserve to get through with that stage show that they gave. However, guys, I am actually going to insert here in this video my original predictions list because I've got it written down here from a few videos ago and I got 10 out of 10. So in no particular order, first and foremost, we have Norway. Next up, I think Serbia are going to qualify. I think Portugal are going to qualify. Okay, next up, Croatia are a sure qualify. Moldova will qualify. I think Israel are going to qualify. I think Sweden will qualify. And that is Czechia. Finland are completely safe. Switzerland will surprise a lot of people and will qualify for the grand final. Love that for me. However, guys, there we have it, that semi-final one over, and they are our qualifiers for the final. What a bumpy ride that was when they were revealing those artists. My heart was pounding through my chest. It's going to be an incredible show with an incredible lineup, and I cannot wait for the grand final. But first, we have semi-final two. But guys, that is all for me and all from this video today. If you're loving the content and you're loving the show so far, and you're on the edge of your seat just like I was, hit that thumbs up button so I know I'm not alone. Hit that subscribe button, and don't forget that bell notification button. That way, you can stay up to date with all of the other videos I have to bring on this channel, and you won't miss a trick. But all this left for me to say is thank you so much for watching. Please stay safe, look after yourselves. See you in Liverpool, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Goodbye.